What's up, gamers? Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the picnic table. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is definitely you're going to need to make sure you have a few things for this trip. Uh, one can be either a crossbow or a two-handed club. Uh, we're going to be rolling a D20 die up on top of the picnic table uh, to get our coup de grace level two. So we definitely need those. You're going to need a brat burst to bust the shovel down, as well as a bone dagger and a slime lantern. And I'll show you in a second what those are going to be for. All right, so you're going to come down to the shovel here, right next to the picnic table. Get next to this rock and right click and drop a brat burst. And the shovel will come crashing down. Perfect. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm going to take you guys over here. We're going to go into this busted pipe, and we are going to get the Minotaur key, which is going to help us unlock the chest that is up on top of the picnic table. For efficiency purposes, you're definitely going to want to do this part first. Uh, so we're going to put on our underwater lantern here. Uh, there is a marble right there if you need that as well as a quartzite on this side if you need that as well and then uh, you're going to want to go up down in this water cave here and you'll see these uh, vines that's what you need the level 2 dagger for and as you can see our minotaur key is right there easy peasy alright now we'll head back to the shovel I am going to grab some silk. I had some silk cooking up there on that hill by the by the shovel. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Oops, how did I do that? I don't want third person. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you like first person better or third person? I definitely like first person a lot more. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go over here. Like I said, I got some uh, web cooking up up here on the top of this hill. Gonna grab some of that real quick because we're gonna need the uh, we're gonna need it to connect to the uh, to the sandbox once we get up there. You don't necessarily have to go to the sandbox yet, but it's a good idea to go ahead and get the bridge or the zip line established. All right, we're gonna head up the shovel. Uh, the only thing you're going to encounter here that's kind of a pain is bees. There are black ants up on top of the picnic table as well, but they're not going to mess with you uh, unless you mess with them. But, uh, all right, here we go. We're going to take, we're going to take a wide swing around this tackle box and there's going to be crow feathers up here that you can harvest if you need to. There's also going to be, this is going to be one of the only places you can actually get salt from before you go to the upper yard. And you're going to really want to stack up on salt before you make your first trip to the, uh, usually there's some right here, but you know, occasionally there's not. You're going to want to stack up on salt because that's what the, everything in the sandbox is weak, weakness to. At least ant lions. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to come up here and we are going to smack this red button. You need at least a level two hammer, I believe, in order to do this. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you're going to climb the handlebar here. Be careful not to fall off. There is a, a little bit of science. It's not on my screen right now, but there's a little bit of science that spawns literally like right here. I think you might have to jump off to get it, but maybe not. All right, check all the plates for some for some salt. No salt here either. And there's usually a food bit here. It can be a hot dog or an apple or an Oreo or anything. Wow, this is so cool. All right, so we're going to head in here. And I believe on this side. Okay, so there's another feather. This is actually where the uh, where the dice is. So this is our D20 right here, and more or less you have to roll it until it gets to a 20 in order to unlock Coup de Grass level two. So you can do this with a two-hander. 
You can smack it with a two-hander like this. Or you can uh, get a crossbow, and as long as you're shooting at eye level with it, it will, uh, I say that, will make it roll. Alright. Being a pain. Let's try the two-hander a little bit more. Sometimes it could be a pain in the butt. There we go. I say I did this last night in like two seconds on stream, but uh... Gotta hit it right in the sweet spot. Alright, so there we go. There we go. Perfect. Alright, and once you see that, you'll see that star flash, and then that will unlock coup de grass for you. There we go. I don't actually have the first one yet, but uh... Yep, then you come over here and open the chest with your Minotaur key, you get your golden molar, your burgle chip, Scabbing. your scab, and then we've got a bunch of extra crafting material. So the thing you're going to want to do after this, it's starting to get dark, but uh, here, let me trash something here. There we go. I can put my weapon away. Uh, there's also going to be some science in here as well. I believe okay so there's some gum if you have a level two shovel yet and the science is going to be over here right here there's going to be some science right here once again i'm not sure why it's not there must just be a creative thing all right and now what you're going to want to do is there's a field station under the book here go ahead and pick that up you get some food and bandages all of the above and you're going to want to come over here to this zip line and this is what that string is going to be for so now you've got your zip line set up to go to the sandbox now i don't believe there's anything up here on the front side of this stuff but let me check real fast just to just to be sure there might be a tooth or something up here i'll do the testing for you so you don't have to i almost jumped off right there holy Okay, nothing inside the Coke can. There is a scab right here. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. There might be something inside of this honey jar, but you would need to build to get to it. Not 100% sure if there's anything there or not. But uh, the last thing you're going to want to do is hop over here. and go into this uh, yellow box because there is definitely a tooth down here oops yep there's your tooth right there all right if this video helped you guys out at all man i would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe uh, definitely putting out as much YouTube content as I can right now, trying to help everybody out in all kinds of different ways. So if this video helped you out at all, man, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you like this video, I'm going to go ahead and put up another one right here that will uh, hopefully also help you out. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, happy Halloween and I'll see you later.